<laughs> hey yo, what is going on everybody? The Brave Slasher and we are back with another music reaction. <clears throat> so, this is going to be the last Melanie Martinez song I do probably until next week. Um, just because I got some plans for some stuff over the weekend that I want to cover. Um, a couple people are dropping tracks today that I won't be able to get to till tomorrow. Plus, I really want to focus one of those days specifically on like um, lyrical, lesser, well, I won't say lesser known people, but lyrical stuff. Um, plus, I really honestly just want to knock out six of the reactions I've got in the backlog. Um, <clears throat> so, unless other people drop new stuff, that's kind of what I want my focus to be. <clears throat> over the weekend um but with that being said I've, I've i've loved this little journey we've gone on with melanie martinez dude i love her music um and this seems to be more of as people said her name is crybaby which is kind of referencing the whole like the first cd she put out was like her growing up or her as a kid um so this is kind of furthering um her story i guess but one of the things I'm definitely looking forward to is to see how the story progresses. I'm going to react to all the videos as they come out. And then I'm eventually going to go back and watch the movie and see how much I was right, how much I was wrong about. Um, so that's something I am looking forward to. So guys, believe I will eventually get to watch the movie. It's not going to be till after I react to the music videos. I know a lot of you guys are probably going to, you know, a lot of you guys are going to be like, hey, you're missing some stuff. I know I'm missing some stuff. I'll eventually go back and see it. I just don't want to hear the music and then turn around and react to the music. Because for me, reacting is listening to it for the first time. Um, but no, I, I, I really have enjoyed this little journey we've been on. So we're here for it. This is called, uh, the principle. So I'm guessing if I had to, if I had to think about it, um, we're progressing the story just after the fight that she had out in, on the recess lot. Um, <laughs> uh, with old girl, uh, and she's now about to get in trouble, but I'm also going to guess this song is probably about the principal herself not being a very good person. Because if you guys remember seeing the teacher was on some heavy drugs in that last video. So, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have fun with this one. We're going to talk about it. We're also going to talk about the video and what I find funny with it. I'm going to probably pause a couple times just for comedy's sake. Um, if I got something funny to say anyways. And, hey, let's jump into this. Melanie Martinez, the principal. Let's go, baby. Sneaky, creepy, money seeking, always peeping, fucking creeping, got it on the down low. It's how you think you always speak it. What if I had told your mother? Her son was a cruel motherfucker. Mm. Uh, it's not just me, it's everybody who thinks. What kind of fucking outfit is she wearing? <laughs> I love the powdered wigs too. Just saying. It's not just me, it's everybody who thinks that you're fucking ugly when you come and hurt us just so you can get your money for to follow the leader who's being possessed by demons. I try to make you listen, but you won't. It's your way, right? Killing kids all day. Okay, so the kind of message I'm picking up from the song itself is like... The principal doesn't really care what happens to the students, right? They're just there for the money, like what, regardless of what the students want to chase, what their dreams are, he, he's just there to basically get through the day, collect a paycheck, get his money, and get the fuck out of there. Um, which nobody in any sort of teaching atmosphere should really be that way because that's not doing anything to cultivate interest in kids minds to be able to be the future of our country um or of humanity period 
Um, so, hey, and I'm, again, digging the dark undertone she's going with here, too. Uh, that's one of my favorite things about Melanie. Now she's fighting back. <laughs> she's like, fuck all your rules and guidelines, dude. I'm going to do what the fuck I want to do. Like it. Oh, is she about to kill him? I said it because anytime you see her eyes go black in these videos, something fucking crazy happens. And I noticed that the liquid that he was drinking turned blue, so I'm wondering if she didn't turn it into something that was deadly, which is going to end up killing the principal. Yep. Called it. Okay. I've tried to make you listen, but you won't. It's your way, right? And then she made the. <laughs> and then she made all the fucking uh, jurors disappear. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Hey, so I'm not going to lie. As far as the overall song goes, the song is. Um, I didn't really like the song as much as the other two. I think the first track, the Wheels on the Bus, is still my favorite off this album so far. I think it was the catchiest. Um, and it definitely had more of the dark undertones I find enjoyable in terms of just like the type of sh crazy shit she says. Um, and, th and this is actually probably my least favorite so far. Uh, for minor things, like the first off, the constant phone ringing in the background. Dude, I work in an office. I don't want to hear phones ringing in the songs I listen to constantly. Um... <laughs> <laughs> I hear that shit all night. Uh, especially with our phone system being fucked up right now. It rings for no reason. Um, and I don't know. I, I, I could see her fight with the principal. I, and I can understand it just from the, the, you know, the things that she was saying. But at the same time, like, I, I like to see her struggle more with other students in terms of storytelling than the actual school system itself, right? Um, but hey, still an enjoyable track, guys. Um, like I said, it's just not my favorite. So, but hey, that is going to do it for this reaction, guys. If you guys liked the video, be sure to slash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications. Comment down below, what did you think of Melanie Martinez as the principal? Also, be sure to comment down below if there's anything else you guys want to see me react to. I can do reviews of older Melanie Martinez stuff if that's what you guys like, or I can keep pushing on with the newer stuff and hitting the videos in order. Um, as we are doing. This is the third of nine, so um, next week we should be knocking out hopefully five of them, to be honest. Like, I would really like to get caught up as soon as possible. Um, also, be sure to check the description below for my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Discord on my bitches, as well as the original link to this video. You're also going to find the links to the Vibe and the Bar Discords, as well as their YouTube channels. Be sure to hop on over to the YouTube channels for sure. Um, like, over at the Bar, I got a couple breakdowns that have popped off over the last couple of days. Um, and more stuff coming up that's going to be super fun. So I hope you guys are going to definitely be into checking that out. Um, anyways, guys, that is going to do it. I love y'all. Thank y'all for watching. Cannot wait to see you to pray people later. Peace.